know, I'd like to ask if anybody has any questions for me. Yes, sir. How many cigarettes were you smoking day? When I became a laryngectomy, I was up to two packs a day. And that was pretty bad, yeah. You know what? I used to work in the tobacco field. I used to work in tobacco when I first moved to North Carolina. And I um, would get up early in the morning before the sun came up. I'd put on my old dirty clothes and I'd go out in the field with my brother. We'd pull tobacco and then we'd just string it on the stringer. And then every now and then a little worm would come through. But I saw where they store the tobacco. And I saw what lives with the tobacco. Rats and mice. They don't wash the tobacco before they process it. And we're smoking over 4,000 chemicals. You know, I told you, uh, Adam told you I've had cancer 10 times. I've had it six more times since I became a learned veteran. I've had it in my mouth, in my neck, and they even removed my power. And it's been 10 years since I've had a cigarette. Anybody else have a question? Um, how old were you when you started smoking? Well, I should have told you all this. I was um, on a little camping trip with some of my friends, and one of my friends brought a pack of cigarettes. And we um, shared them. And I was about 13 years old. And it made me deathly sick on my stomach. But it didn't stop me from doing it again. And again and again and again. And so the next thing I knew, I was addicted. I had to have it. Why did you start smoking? Like, did you enjoy it? Like, how did you do it? Did you do it? Did you do it? Did you do it? Why did I start smoking? I started smoking to be around my friends. And so I can be like them and be with them. Can you see my hole? Yeah, you can see it. If you don't want to see it, just look away. You didn't believe I really had one, did you? <laughs> I do want to thank you all for letting me come. Thank you especially for being so attentive. I just I love you.